what I'm going to show you is Night Scout Dexcom setup and then some of the base settings. You'll see um, the left one is Dexcom, the right one is Night Scout. Uh, it tells you right here above the BG which, which one is pulling the BG from. So um, under settings, like if, if you look at this, and I'm going to toggle this on um, on this side, just so I'm not sharing my personal settings with you. Uh, this is this doesn't activate it. This is just a show hide so that you don't have it on screen and accidentally have a typo, you know, type on it when you don't intend to. Um, for Night Scout, simply enter your URL with HTTPS. If you're using tokens, enter your token. Everybody should come in and pick which units you're using. So even if you aren't using Night Scout, select the units here because that does change a few things other places in the app. And then for Dexcom settings, I'll show you on this side, type in your username and password and then select if you're US or non-US. This is your Clarity password, um, also the same one that you use on Dexcom.com. So if you're not sure what that is, just go to Dexcom.com, try and type it in, uh, figure it out. You want to make sure the Dexcom username and password are exactly correct because if you have typos in there in your password, um, it will lock your account out. If apps are trying to access your Dexcom account after like so many tries, it'll lock it out for 15 minutes and then you'll have to delete everything, start over till it gets sorted. Um, also, there have been some issues with unusual characters in the password, uh, like I think you can't use periods and things like that. So if you have issues, um, that's most likely the cause um, if you have special characters in your password. Now, general settings. The app badge is the notification right here, just like how many emails do you have. The difference between um, this and emails is this is your BG reading. It isn't number of notifications you've gotten. So right now the BG is 95. Um, if you're using MMOL for your units, um, Apple doesn't allow periods for notifications on here. So um, if you're 5.2, it'll say 5.2 or it'll say 52, not 5.2. Just know, if those are your units, know there's a period in there. Background refresh, um, you should have this turned on. Uh, the app will absolutely not run in the background if you turn this off. So the unless it's on screen, the app won't run without this option. Now, with that said, it is a battery hog. Um, I wrote it to guarantee the alerts would always go off and the app would never be killed by the iPhone by iOS. So because I'm forcing iOS to run loop follow when traditional apps after a certain time, they might time out. Um, you've probably seen that with Dex follow is every now and then you'll open it and you're at the home screen again um, and it takes a second. Well, alerts aren't necessarily going to go off in those times. So this guarantees they'll go off you shouldn't have any issues with iPhone 12, iPhone 13 that have fabulous battery life. But um, if you have older phones, especially, you may want to look at a, having a power bank with you if you start seeing excessive battery use. Um, and you should sort of expect significant battery use. Now, I will say with any iPhone that has an OLED screen, which I think is the iPhone 10 and newer, um, dark mode. Uh, is a substantial battery saver because it doesn't actually use energy for black um, like it does for an LCD screen that has to light up everything. So with loop follow, it's actually surprising that dark mode with the app on screen is actually the same or maybe even less battery usage than having the app running in the background. So one thing you can try is if you um, if you're seeing a you know having trouble getting through the day with with your battery, try leaving the screen on with loop follow on screen in dark mode and see if that actually improves your battery life. Persistent notifications is this is sort of a feature I ported from Xtrip. Um, 
every five minutes, you if you turn this on, you can get a notification of the current BG. I really um, don't think you should turn this on other than very specific cases. And that might be, for instance, if you have a, a non-Apple watch that really can't do any functionality other than like activity tracking um, tied into your iPhone. Well, but it can still receive notifications usually. And so if you can get notifications to the watch, that might be an instance where you might want to turn it on when you're going to be, you know, exercising and your phone sitting over off to the side. Uh, for stark mode, by default, loop follow will follow your iOS settings. So if you have dark mode on, it's going to be dark. If you don't have dark mode on, it's going to be light like you see here on the iPhone. Um, I, I run it always in dark mode, primarily because it's less battery usage when the app's on screen uh, with any of the OLED display iPhones. Um, stats and display small graph. Those are these two down here. Um, the small graph that you can drag along to zoom to specific areas, and then the stats panel for the last 24 hours. If you'd rather have a bigger, uh, bigger primary graph, you can turn those off. Uh, color main BG is also just a personal preference. Um, I like at night, not even really needing to open my eyes, just seeing a green, red, or yellow shade on the screen um, of that BG value. Otherwise, if you turn that off, it will just be white text. Um, IFCC controls your, oh, and I have it on here so I can show you, controls your estimated A1C between the percent sign that some people use and the IFCC method that others use. So if you use that, just toggle it on right there in general settings. Keep screen active. This is um, basically what it sounds like is if loop follows on screen, it will override your iOS settings for screen timeout. So normally your screen turns off after like 30 seconds. If loop follows on, on screen and you have this at turned on, it will never shut off. Um, just, you know, play around with that if you need to for battery usage, but also it's fabulous for your nightstand. So this is how I run my nightstand. And it's fabulous to just always be able to roll over and have that right there on screen. And then the last one is Speak BG. Some people have asked for this, um, like when you're exercising or things like that, and you're not gonna be looking down at it every five minutes, uh, Siri will read your BG out loud to you. Now, I did make a recent change that actually broke this, so I had to go throw a quick setting in to re-enable it. So if you turn on Speak BG, you want to come under Advanced Settings and turn off Always Download All BG Values. And that will get it to work until I have a permanent fix in there. Thanks for watching. Check out the other videos.